This game has been rated M by the ESRB. It contains blood, violence, and other mature content like sexual innuendos. So if you don't like stuff like that, please be advised that it is not for you and stop watching. Hello and welcome back to Harvester. <laughs> we're on day six. And we're gonna leave a house. Grab the paper for the paper boy. There now, see how easy it is? Things are so much better between us when you remember the paper in the morning. And let's keep him that way. Now we'll go see the aftermath of the TV station. Wherever that is. Say, can you spare a dime for a buckaroo who's down on his luck? The whole shebang just went up in flames, and I'm looking to mosey on to greener pastures where the sun sets always golden, and there's always another savage to kill. Where might that be? The TV station is closed. Duh. Burnt down. So is Edna's diner, I bet. I've tried so hard to find an excuse to keep on fighting. But Karen and I can't go on alone any longer. This diner he left us was all we had. It was always a struggle to keep it running in such a small town. And now we've lost it. I know that I can't afford to support us now. There's only one way out. I'm sure you won't be able to understand the depth of despair that would enable a mother to put a rope around her baby's neck and push her into the air and jump after her. I wonder if I'll hear her next now. If she kicks around and takes a long time to strangle me, I'll scream. But I won't cut her down. I've got to be stronger than I ever was before. But I hope she doesn't get it. God help us and forgive us, Edna Fitzpatrick. Dang, straight up murdered her daughter and killed herself. Oh no, they're both hanged. <laughs> and all you can do is eat a pie, looking at some dead bodies. That's depressing. If it's open 24 hours, why was Edna not there when we lit it on fire? I'm glad to see you. I feel so alone, cooped up in here. I saw the TV station go up from my window. It lighted up the whole town. It looked like hell. I wished it would consume the whole damn place. And me with it. Don't talk like that. I'm sorry. I just can't stand it anymore. I wish there was something I could do. There he is. Make love to me. Why do you want me to make love to you in this time? If you're sure you want me to. Do it to. to me. 
now. This is the same exact scene as last time, huh? Is he gonna look through the window again? It's gonna be the same exact. What? Why even have this happen again? That Mr. Postum is not the only one looking through the window. We also got that weird dog statue watching us. I'll have to say that I've seen this man's bare chest way too much in this game. Those kisses aren't very romantic. I feel like she's doing it just to give Mr. Postum a show. I love how we get kicked out of her room after we do it. He's just using you for your body, Steve. Let's tell our mom about the fire. Hello, dear. How are you today? The nerve of some people burning down the TV station to detract from our bake sale. I doubt the perpetrator did it just to annoy the Harvest PTA. Coincidence? I don't think so. Just six months ago, the newspaper building went up in smoke. Obviously, there's a firebug on the loose. Either that or a communist. Steve, I'm so scared. Just ask Colonel Monroe at the missile base. He'll tell you. Now that the bake sale's over, I just don't know how I'll fill my time. Oh, I feel so... useless. My goodness! What's wrong with her? My goodness! God. Oh, it's not as bad as it looks. You just pop them back in. <laughs> Nasty. Ew. See? As good as new, that tarantula she ate must have had wasp eggs in it. Don't you think we should get her to a doctor? What for? She's got her mother. How silly I was, feeling useless just because there are no more cookies to bake. I can still rear my brood. This is a sign, Steve. I have a purpose again. Uh, glad to see you're feeling better. Mind, that fire still burns my britches. First the newspaper building, then DNA's diner, then W-H-A-R. I sense a pattern. And any pattern I can't make a dress out of is no darn good. I suppose you heard about DNA's diner burning down? Sheriff Duane thinks it was a grease fire. We took a black eye on the bake sale. But I'm sure the Harvest PTA annual blood drive will be more successful. Overall, we made about $200. Hardly enough to bury a dead horse. And definitely not enough to cover the annual blood drive. Annual blood drive, huh? If you knew how much blood we get, you'd be more impressed. Donations are mandatory, Steve. If you're still here come Sunday, you'll be expected to give. Until it hurts, I suppose. Until it hurts. Even Hank will have to donate. Of course, Lodge members are exempt. Remember that. Hey, either way, no one's sticking me with a needle. We don't use needles. Dang, what do they use? Don't forget Wasps. to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. I already talked to Jimmy. Should know you've already done that and not tell you about it every time. Did you say hello to your father for me? Thank God for that at least. You know, with a slaughterhouse full of meat in town, what kind of nutcase would steal a barber's pole? Oh well, Pastorelli won't need it where he is. God rest his soul. 
those silly woolies down at the fire station are just <laughs> incensed about losing some decorating stuff. <laughs> some people. Yeah. Maybe they should be more concerned with fire and less with flame. Harvest will never be the same without DNA's diner. Or without DNA, for that matter. God, why does everyone hate gays so much in this? We're supposed to get an invitation on our bed. I'm glad to see you. I feel so alone, cooped up in here. You know the firemen? Someone stole some fabric from them. And they're up in arms about it. Why would firemen spend their time decorating? <laughs> Only in harvest. I don't know if you heard or not, but Mr. Pastorelli, the barber, he's dead. Looks like somebody stole a barber's pole from him, then left the exposed electrical wires and some water on the floor. Pastorelli walked in, Flipped on the lights and... Know anything about that? Mr. Swell came by. I heard him telling my father about it. He said it smelled like roast pork. Well, these things happen. Especially around here. I heard that DNA's diner burned down. Why are you looking at me like that? Did you torch it, Steve? This had the stamp of another large initiation stunt. Maybe so, but I had nothing to do with it. Thank God for that. She hung herself, you know. And Karen. Can you imagine? Killing your own daughter? The despair she must have been feeling to do something like that? She must have felt there was no way to carry on after the fire. Accidents happen. It was no accident. The sheriff supposedly found evidence that the fire was set. Are you sure you didn't... Would I lie to you? No. I'm sure you wouldn't. Is it true? You found Karen? Oh, uh, yeah. Just in time, too. But he'd molested she's her and dead now. Her Why are you happy about this? He couldn't bring himself to kill her outright, so he just decided to stick her in the ground and let fate take its course. Who? Who would do that to a helpless child? She says it was Mr. Potsdam. And I believe her. Oh, Christ. And all this time I've been under the same roof with that... <laughs> that thing watching me. Take it easy, okay? So, at least they'll be coming to take him away, won't they? Yeah, right. Come back and visit me soon, okay? No one cares. Okay, so I guess I was supposed to talk to her after I made love to her. If it isn't my favorite son-in-law, what brings you here again? I guess I'll leave and come back in? Because I'm supposed to talk to my mom after that. Oh, dear. What the heck? This guy does not give me the correct things to do, I guess. Do I have to go somewhere else first? Maybe I should just go home and talk to Hank. Or my mom again. Hello, dear. How are you today?
Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. I don't understand. How am I supposed to progress the story? Do I have to go to the lodge? Okay, if I go back in here and nothing's changed, I'm going to be upset. He's still down there. No, she's still here. I don't get it. It says I'm supposed to pick up a lodge invitation on her bed. But she's laying on the bed. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna talk to the lodge. Oh, we still haven't told the lodge what we did, so we may as well. I mean, I'm sure they know. TNA's diner. Is no more, as is Edna herself. She hung herself as soon as she realized what had happened to her beloved establishment. A true entrepreneur and a credit to her nation. Come now, anyone who spoke with her for five minutes would have known what a tragedy the destruction of her diner would be. Still, you sought to torch her diner, and torched it is. You have proven yourself a worthy candidate for initiation. This was only a trial to determine your worthiness for testing. Your initiation into the mysteries of the harvest will soon begin. In the meantime, be patient. Protocols must be observed before initiation may commence. How I recognize the sign? You will know. When you receive the invitation, bring it here and your initiation shall begin. So now is the invitation going to appear? Uh, point and click adventures and they're crazy. Oh, here we go. Crazy things you have to do before things happen. Guess I could forget about the meat, huh? What do you mean? Your dad must have pulled some strings. Be sure and check Stephanie's pillow, you lucky bum. What the hell are you talking about? You'll see once the sheriff gets here. <sighs> Stephanie, Stephanie. Things will never be the same now. Guess I'll be watching TV nights. Okay, you can come in now, son. My God. Is that what I think it is? Yep, it's a spinal cord. Is it Stephanie? I can see a resemblance, but I can't be sure. More pie, Sheriff? Pie? Don't you realize what's happened? Oh, indeed, I do. I, I can just hear the tongues wagging at the PTA. W was it suicide? Never heard of anyone pulling their own spinal cord out before. Off the record, I'd have to say no. No, all in all, I'd say this was death by natural causes. Natural causes? You can't live without a spinal cord, son. Nothing unnatural about that. Think I will have some more pie. Right away. I can't believe this. This is horrible. Believe me, you get to the point to where this is routine. 
Now the only clue we got is that card on our pillow. Take a look at it. This is practically a confession. Confession to what, son? Murder. Isn't that what you're here to investigate? Son, you don't investigate natural deaths. No point. Then I'll get to the bottom of this myself. Look at that kangaroo. Yeah. I'm sure you will. More pie, Sheriff? Don't mind if I do. These people are weird. I can see why there are three discs now. That video probably took up the whole disc, too. Grab it, boy. Why won't it let me take it? Damn it. Don't use it on the radiator. Use it on my inventory, dangus. Alrighty. So it says to talk to Mr. Potsdam after we get the invitation. I'm so hungry, Steve. So hungry. If I'd been an astronaut, I could afford all the meat I want. The red kind. And the young, pink kind, too. Gross. I could have done without that. I don't understand. The invitation was not the card, but the spinal cord. It must be presented to me ere I allow you to enter. The mysteries are only disclosed to members of the order, not initiates. You were provided an invitation. Bring me the skull and spinal cord if you would pass to the world beyond. All right, now the hard part. We gots to go get the spinal cord from the cemetery. How it's there already, I don't know. Time doesn't work logically in this game. Alrighty, we're gonna save first so that we don't get destroyed. Spinal get save. So somehow we have to use the ladder to get up there? I don't know why that would let us get in there. Well, that didn't work. All right. This didn't tell me it, that you're supposed to break the sunlight. Rex. That's why you're holding it. This is the part that you might die. Hey, he still looks pretty good. I did get bit once, didn't I? Nausea, nauseous smell wafts from within the unsealed sarcophagus. Oh, can I go in that way? Turned into a cog. Now we can get it.
How did we get the ladder up here? And up here at the same time. All right, so we got everything we need on day six to get into the lodge. We're now a member, guys. We're initiates. I guess we're not really members yet. supposed to help me or get me killed I'm starting you on the path of initiation to a very special very exclusive brotherhood I am merely the administrator of a test whether you view me as an enemy or a friend depends on how well you're prepared to pass and this thing you haven't said what it is. It is a special weapon. Using it will be part of the initiation. You always have a choice, Initiate. Which choices you make matter only to you. Whatever occurs in here is relevant to the great question which you cannot help but answer. What is at issue is whether in answering the question you will find the answers you seek. You will encounter those intent on preventing or prompting your answer depending on how you look at it. While the assumption is you want to live, dying is easy and provides its own answer, but not for you. Just tell me, is Stephanie dead or being held within? The membership director on the second level keeps track of such things. Oh great, then you are against me. I am the sergeant at arms. I am here to ensure that the protocols are observed. Deviation from a protocol shall result in punishment. Remember what I have told you. Now, let the initiation begin. Insert disc three watch. Yep. I knew it. Well, I will insert disc three and the next episode will be entering the lodge in level one. See you guys tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>